If just 12 weeks on a nutritional supplement could reduce your brain age by 15 years, would that get your attention? That was precisely the result of a study that appeared in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. Scientists tested people between the ages of 50 and 70. All of them felt that they had some degree of memory decline. They were evaluated in key areas, including executive function, attention, and memory. Their brain age improved by 15 years, and in the words of the researchers, the impact of this supplement on cognitive improvement was robust. Now, I'm in my mid-60s, and everyone I know is worried about getting dementia, but it seems that no one knows about the supplement. My own doctor was unaware. In the next few minutes, I'll tell you what the supplement is, how it works, and recommended dosages. Watch to the end where I also share an amazing natural food proven by research to have similar dramatic improvements on your cognitive age. The name of the supplement is Magnesium L3 and 8, and you can easily purchase it on Amazon or other online stores. Sometimes it's marketed under a trade name called Magteen. In this study, scientists used a version of Magnesium L3 and 8 that also contained vitamin C, vitamin D, and B6. So how does it work? If you are unfamiliar with magnesium, it's a key factor in making several parts of our bodies run smoothly, including our hearts, bones, muscles, and nerves. Without enough magnesium, these areas can malfunction. It plays an important role in assisting over 300 enzymes to carry out various chemical reactions in the body, like building proteins and strong bones and regulating blood sugar, blood pressure, and nerve and muscle functions. Magnesium is almost always sold commercially bound to another salt which helps its absorption. And magnesium L3 and 8 is magnesium bound to l 3 acid. The unique characteristic of magnesium L3 and 8 is that it is able to pass the blood-brain barrier, meaning that it actually carries magnesium to your brain. And according to the researchers, the level of magnesium in your brain is a critical factor that controls synapse density and plasticity. Synapse functioning is critical for learning and memory. Within our brain, nerve impulses are passed from one neuron to another, crossing small gaps called synapses. The ability of our nervous system to make and break connections across these gaps is referred to as plasticity and is crucial for healthy brain functioning. And studies like this one have confirmed that an increase of synapse density is highly correlated with better memory. So how was the study performed? The researchers looked at men and women between 50 and 70 years of age. It was a well-structured, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial. All participants felt that they were having poor memory, as well as issues with anxiety and poor sleep. Smaller-sized people in the study, up to about 150 pounds, were given 1.5 grams a day, and larger people, over 150 pounds, were given 2 grams a day. The researchers evaluated each person using several cognitive tests covering executive function, working memory, attention, and episodic memory. These results were combined to produce an overall composite score. By each measure, the group taking magnesium L3 and 8 had better outcomes, and the composite score presented here showed significant improvements at just six weeks and even more at 12 weeks. The average age of all subjects was 58. Because they had some cognitive decline going into the study, their average brain age, according to the researchers, was about 68, suggesting that they had 10 years of cognitive impairment. And after six weeks of treatment, the average brain age of the group decreased nine years. And after 12 weeks, the improvement went up slightly to 9.4 years younger brain age. So the data show that treatment with magnesium L3 and A essentially reversed cognitive impairment to normal ability relative to age. But here's an interesting note. Not all people in the study responded to the treatment. Approximately 70% of the people did, and 30% did not. And when the researchers calculated the cognitive improvement for only those people who responded, they found that the brain improvement at 12 weeks was an astounding 14.6 years of improvement. So that's great news, but is this product safe? Well, researchers in the study evaluated the safety of the product during the test and concluded that yes, at those doses, magnesium L3 and 8 is safe. In addition, a review performed by the European Food Safety Authority concluded the very same thing. 
they looked at human consumption of three milligrams a day of magnesium L3-anine. Their determination was that intake is safe and that there are no concerns regarding toxicity. This study was not the only one that has identified the brain benefits of magnesium l 3 a This study, shown here, was done with rats and examined the effect of magnesium l 3 a on short-term memory deficits due to chronic pain. The scientists concluded that magnesium l 3 a was indeed able to prevent and restore short-term memory deficits. And this study looked at the impact of magnesium l 3 a in adults between the ages of 18 and 65. Participants were given two grams of magnesium l 3 a each day. And after 30 days, they concluded that the people taking the supplement showed significant improvements in all categories of memory testing, and that older participants showed even more improvement than younger participants. Their conclusion was that magnesium l 3 a provided significant benefits in improving memory and cognition. And many more studies like these support the notion that magnesium l 3 a can be effective for treating brain conditions such as Alzheimer's disease and ADHD. So let's wrap this up. Magnesium is an important mineral that is critical in numerous metabolic processes. Most forms of magnesium do not pass the blood-brain barrier. However, magnesium l 3 a does. Scientists believe that magnesium in your brain cells increases the plasticity of your synapses and that this is directly related to better cognitive performance. People between the ages of 50 and 70 who were tested with magnesium L3 and 8 had their brain age improve an average of nine years. It did not work for everyone, but for those who did have benefits, the improvement was actually 15 years. So should you take magnesium L3 and 8? This is something that you should decide only in conversation with your doctor. The Harvard School of Public Health says that magnesium is a necessary nutrient and is well tolerated in supplement form. So as a guy who lost his mom to Alzheimer's, my personal attitude is, what do I have to lose? I take two grams a day, but talk to your doctor because every one of us is different. And what was that other health food you can eat that has proven to give you similar results in brain health? It's eating dark green leafy vegetables. Things like kale, spinach, and char. I have mentioned this in other videos, but this study showed that a diet rich in these nutritional powerhouses can give you a brain that is 11 years younger than someone who does not eat them. The good news here is that while officially there is no cure for Alzheimer's and many dementias, there is so much we can do through nutrition, sleep, and healthy lifestyle that can significantly reduce our risk for the disease. Thank you for watching and please see my other videos all devoted to how you can take the best care of yourself and your loved ones.